This was just going to be a quick one for record keeping. Um, these are the where the pins for the lower control arms go through the uh, hub carrier. Um, there's this seal cover, I think is what it's called. It's just this little piece of, looks like bronze and steel kind of pressed together. Um, he's just going to go in the parts washer. And the reason we're making this, because what I found behind that, and this, remember kids, this is 1986 technology. There is a seal here. This seal, as best I can tell, is made out of, wait for it, leather. Yes, it is made out of leather in a 1986 automobile. There is also a shim behind this, which I assume is to, to shim the control arm to the where it has saddles that sit on the outside of here. So this for record keeping, we had a magical leather seal with a shim right on top of the bearing. And we'll put this to the side now that we've got that recorded. And we'll see if we can pull this up to the light and find out what the bearing number is. This is a Timken bearing, just like everything else on here. And this is a number. It's definitely a number. Does that help? I want to say 03062. Here, Jacob. Use your eyeballs, they're newer than mine. That number right there. That is. 03062 is what I get, but that could be a 9 or something else there. What's your eyeballs? Your new eyeballs are newer than mine. 03062, yeah. Okay, so we'll look that up because um, obviously these are getting replaced. You can see. I guess that's water. I don't know. Maybe it's leather particles. Um, there also seems to be a retainer on top of here, which I guess I'll have to get underneath and pry that up. And then, oh yeah, there's definitely water in there. So these will not be getting reused, but I got to figure out how to get those monkeys out. And when I do, I will video that too, because I think this could be helpful. Uh, in my looking around on the YouTubes and the internet, uh, what seemed to be lacking is everybody started showing with reassembling one of these, so it was great. Had it blown all the way apart as far as pushing out the hub and how to remove the hub bearings and all that stuff. I didn't see any with that, so I'm going to try to add a little value here and show getting these apart for any other person who is searching the YouTube, YouTube for rebuilding my XJ6 rear. That's it for now.